Russia's Supreme Court has declared Ukraine's Azov Regiment a terror organization, paving the way for terrorism charges to be made against the fighters who were captured in Mariupol's shattered steel plant. The Azov Regiment dismissed the High Court ruling in a statement that accused Russia of looking for new excuses and explanations for its war crimes. Since their surrender in mid-May, scores of Azov fighters have been held prisoner by Moscow. Russian authorities have opened criminal cases against them, accusing them of killing civilians. The addition of terrorism charges could mean even longer prison sentences. Last week, dozens of Ukrainian prisoners of war, including some of the Azov fighters, were killed in an explosion at a penal colony in eastern Ukraine. The cause of the blast has been difficult for both sides to confirm. Ukraine says it lacks the access needed to independently investigate what happened. We do not have access to the territory. We do not have access to the people who have been affected there. We have no direct communication with the Russian side. All the information we collect is conditionally verified. Both sides have blamed each other for the attack, saying it was premeditated to cover up atrocities. Moscow opened a probe and sent a criminal investigation team to the site.